it's it's great fun to watch the students develop. It's great fun to ask the students to write the stories, and then we always workshop them. They're the intermediate and advanced classes are workshop classes, and so we learn how to workshop, uh, which is a skill that, that needs to be learned. If they're gonna go on um, in graduate school, if they're gonna do advanced work, and if they're gonna go on, and if they wanna be writers, they need to know how to workshop. So we learn how to workshop well, we do whole class workshops. Everyone gets a manuscript um, workshopped. Everyone gets one or two manuscripts workshopped. Um, and it's, it's wonderful to watch the respect in the classroom and the growing understanding of what makes good fiction. And it's fun, it's always fun, I think, for teachers to disseminate what they know. I feel like my whole life has been um, learning so that I can teach, um, doing so that I can tell somebody else how to do. And um, because I am a published fiction writer, um, I love to be able to talk to the students about what's working and what isn't working and what will help them get published and what they can do next. Because I do think that creative writing can be taught. It's not a it's not a mystery, and, and it's uh, largely a, a matter of, sure, it's a matter of talent, yes, but it's also a matter of passion and work, craft. I write what's just called mainstream literary fiction. I don't, well, I, I guess I should, that's, that's a little bit of a lie. Um, I do write some flash fiction. I write some speculative fiction. Um, but I don't advertise myself as a fantasy writer, and I don't teach fantasy writing. Um, but I tell my students, and I have so many students, as you can imagine, who, who come in, you. who want to, or so, who say they have. They come into, especially my beginning classes, and say, uh, they don't come into my intermediate class and say this because they've already had me and they know that what I'll say. But they, if they come into my beginning classes and say, well, I've written three science fiction novels already. I have my series all planned out. And I say to them, well, all of that is well and good, and the things that we learn here about literary fiction are going to make your fantasy writing better, and we're going to focus on those, and you're going to have to do my exercises. And, and they really are exercises in how you make a character, how you, how you build a setting, how you, how you um, reveal a setting, how you work with point of view, um, how you make your story work, what your story arc is, and what the, the inner journey of the character is underneath the outer journey of the character. And all of this works for literary fiction and it works for fantasy fiction too. And especially in, in those beginning classes, it's not that I want to discourage my fantasy writing students, but I want them to re recognize that what they learn about fiction is is going to be, to strengthen and nourish and make better and expand their ability to write fantasy. It's right. so common. So many people want to write fantasy right now, mm -hmm. um, but that is, you know, I don't write. A, I don't. In fact, I've had students say to me, "Why don't we have a class in writing fantasy?" And I say, "It's because we have a class in writing fiction. Learn that, and your fantasy will be fine." students who want to learn. It's, it's tougher to teach composition, I'll be honest, because those are required classes. And the students don't really know why they're there until, of course, the class is over and they have benefited from it in other classes. I mean, really, they don't know until two semesters later why they're there. Um, sometimes that is not a very motivating class to teach because they don't care. It's like pulling teeth sometimes. Mm -hmm. you, you, want to get the best out of them, but they frankly don't want to give it. Um, I love teaching students who want, you know, they want from me, give me more, give me more. When that's not there, I guess I have to say the thing that motivates me is the possibility of finding it, the, the possibility of, of um, 
uh, igniting that spark in someone who didn't know that they had it in them, the possibility. Um, when, it, when it's not forthcoming, I do get a little discouraged, I will confess. <laughs> um, I'm, a, I'm a British Lit person. I always have been. I got my master's degree in British Lit. So, um, but, but it isn't just poetry or just novels. I love them both. Um, I love the 19th century novels. Um, and I love the early 20th century poets very much and, and um, go to England as often as I can to just hang out where they hung out. And, um, and the, I did my, my, my master's thesis on Virginia Woolf, who was an early 20th century, well, mid 20th century um, novelist. And, and I love, I love them too, I love that too. And that, that was a love that, that came early, early, even before I went to college. Um, no, I guess that's not true, but in my undergraduate years, I, I found and, and uh, I loved those. But, but before I went to college, I was, I was always a reader. I've always been a, a reader and a writer, and I've always loved words. Well, that's a that's a good question. Um, it, it's kind of a funny answer, but I've been to quite a few funerals in the last couple of years, <laughs> and and in a couple of them, people have read the poetry that meant a lot to those people. And so I've been thinking about, you know, what poetry do I want? Do I want read at my funeral? <laughs> and um, I would go with um, with W. B. Yeats. William, William Butler Yeats, whose his his formal poetry, his love for his country, his love for the for the stories <clears throat> of his country. He was Irish, um, and he loved the folklore of his country, um, and he wrote just beautiful poetry, along with his interest in the occult, his interest in other worlds that are within hours, but they're not visible. Um, and that doesn't get talked about a whole lot in literature classes, but it's very real if you look at his biography, if you, if you really read his, all of his work. Um, I, I find that I, I love him for all of those things and for making all of those things okay. So, so his work and also probably Gerard Manley Hopkins, who's, who was, um, who also went to school in Ireland. Um, so maybe there's something about my Craigan background. Um, but his poetry is also beautiful and there's also a spirituality there. So there's something about the, the, the spirituality, the, the acknowledgement of spirit, the, the acknowledgement of the spirit world, mm -hmm. along with the, the love, deep love of words and and stories and the the great stories that involve us all that that's where i would go